What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Range presented by Twilight Nine. We are back after a couple weeks. I've been sick as shit. If you can still hear it in my voice, I still don't feel great. But we're back after missing the Open Championship and whatever tournament was before that. I know there was the Scottish Open. I don't even remember what the PGA tournament was. But we are back to preview the 3M Open. So let's jump into it. The golf course is TPC Twin Cities, par 71, going to play a little over 7,400 yards to the week. Arnold Palmer Design, not a huge fan of this golf course. They just put hazards everywhere. Some are in play. Some aren't even in play. So just not a really a big fan. But key stats. Because of all those hazards, you need to find fairways around this place. The greens are really receptive. They've gotten a bunch of rain in this part of the country over the summer. So to take advantage of the soft greens, you need to be in the fairway to go at pins. And the second key stat to making a bunch of birdies, you need to be rolling your rock well. The winning score is going to be somewhere around 18, 20, 21 under par, maybe even lower than that. You need to make a bunch of putts to make a bunch of birdies. So we are going to target some guys that are really rolling the rock recently. First pick is going to be Mr. Maverick McNeely. We won some money on this guy the last couple of weeks. He has four straight top 30s entering the week, and three of those are actually T21 or better. Over his last three starts, he's hitting over 72% of fairways. He's 30th in strokes team putting over his last 24 rounds. We're going to take Mav for a top 30 at plus 130. Hank Labiota is on absolute fire. And during the week, he has three straight top 10 finishes. He's hit 66% of his fairways during that stretch. He's 13th in overall proximity over his last 24 rounds. He's 8th in strokes team putting over his last 24 rounds. In two starts here, in the two starts that this event has been taking place, he has a T34 and a T26. We're going to take Hank for a top 30 at plus 160. Joel Damon is the next one. He was four under entering the last round of the open and then shot plus four in that final round to end the tournament at even par. But before that had a T21 at the Rocket Mortgage and a T32 at Memorial. Over the last two seasons on tour, this golf course has forced the second most approach shots from 175 to 200. Only PGA National has done more. Joel Damon over his last 24 rounds is second in proximity proximity in that range. That is a huge stat for the week. We're going to take Joel Damon for a top 40 at plus 125. Johnny Vegas. He's finished inside the top 11 in three of his last five starts. Over his last 24 rounds, he's second in strokes aimed off the tee and fourth in ball striking. His putter just hasn't been that hot recently, but because of his iron play, he's gained over 3.5 strokes over his last three starts. He's giving himself a lot of opportunities to make birdie. If that putter is just average this week, he's going to contend. We're going to take Johnny Vegas for a top 40 at plus 125. In the last pick of the week is Mr. Pat Perez. He has four top 30s in his last eight starts. Two of those are actually top 15s coming recently at the Rocket Mortgage and the Palmetto Championship. He's 37th in strokes in putting over his last 24 rounds. He's made the cut both times at this event and even finished inside the top 25 just last season. Over his last five starts, he's hit 73% of fairways. We're going to take Pat Perez for a really good value pick here. Top 40 at plus 190. And that's it, guys. That's the range for the 3M Open. Enjoy the golf this weekend, and I will talk to you guys next week.